for centuries. From Eric the Red to Robert Perry, the frozen regions of Greenland have stood as a challenge to man's ingenuity. In May of 1960, a special task force of the United States Army began a 65-day journey across the northern extremities of Greenland's ice cap. During that time, they spanned it from coast to coast, and then traveled up to the northernmost tip of land in the world. Operation Lead Dog was part of a program to test the efficiency and stamina of current polar vehicles and equipment. With the testing and exploration came the satisfaction of man's thirst for adventure and knowledge. A huge land mass halfway between the shortest route from North America to Eurasia, Greenland has become a crucial point in military planning. With this in mind, the United States, with the cooperation of the Danish government, began extensive operations in this area. By the summer of 1952, supplies and equipment had been unloaded along a newly built harbor, ready for the construction of Camp Thule on the northwestern coast. Built for the Air Force by the Army Corps of Engineers, Camp Thule would provide a stepping stone essential to further exploration of the interior. From this point and nearby Camp Tuto, many expeditions would be charted to the unexplored areas of the ice cap. By March of 1960, preparations began for Operation Lead Dog a 40-man expedition which planned to cross the entire northern ice cap for the first time.